Hi, Dr. Vincent De Pasquale with NSI Stem Cell, and I would like to talk a little bit about autoimmune disease and clear up some misconceptions about what that represents. What I typically tell individuals, because they don't get this information, which is really unfortunate, what is an autoimmune disease, right? Most people know that their immune system is attacking healthy tissue, and they understand that that's an autoimmune problem, and we can classify it based on the tissue that's being attacked. RA is the joints, lupus is the genetic material inside our cells, Hashimoto's is our thyroid, and so on. At the end of the day, autoimmune conditions are exactly the same. It's just a matter of the different types of tissue that are being affected. What I want you to understand about autoimmunity is very simple. It's related to environment. And at the end of the day, what it represents is immune dysfunction or dysregulation. We have two sides to our immune system. We have the cell mediated side and we have the antibody driven side. So think of the chicken pox. If we get the chicken pox, the virus that is the chicken pox, our cell mediated immune system will kill the virus and our antibody driven will remember it and we'll never get it again. That's natural immunity, really powerful, pretty amazing process. With an autoimmune patient, see our cell mediated immune system should be dominant, but with autoimmunity, the opposite is true. Antibody driven becomes dominant, so why does that happen? Well, it happens as a result of leaky gut syndrome. So what happens, and without you know, a, di a diagram to show you, but what happens essentially is the damage to the mucosal lining of our gut. The lining of our gut is a barrier, and we don't want to allow things into our bloodstream. That would be very bad. It would create an immune response. So when we have damage to the lining of our gut, foreign particles can enter our bloodstream directly and we mount an immune response, which is a normal thing. Now, over time, when we're consistently doing that, essentially we become dysregulated. And then there's an external trigger. And that external trigger can be a serious emotional event. It can be a traumatic event like a car accident. It can be a chronic viral infection or a bacterial infection like Lyme's disease. And essentially our immune system goes haywire and we start to attack healthy tissue. So the solution isn't to you know, just suppress our immune system as a whole because that opens us up to cancer and infections and it doesn't provide a long-term solution in, in essentially the, the dysregulation that occurs. Our solution is very different. We naturally regulate immune function and then we do the things that are necessary to shut off the leaky faucet, I call it. Essentially, we do the things that are necessary to repair the gut and promote health within the body. But then we also teach you what the triggers are in our environment in terms of food and our lifestyle and how to maintain that you know, uh, that normal regulation so that you continue to have relief of symptoms long term.